guys. Good morning. What are we going to do today? So I had a gal, Michelle, who um, she was trying to be funny and she said, I have one of these things. What would you do with this Carmen before I throw it away? So I thought, okay, there's a challenge. So I thought I'd come up with something fun. And so we made this journal. But it's held together with this plastic. And then when you bind it, it stays really nice and strong. So this is what we're going to do. Let's get started. So the first thing I did is I decided how big do I want my journal to be? And I wanted it to be just a little bigger than this, folded in half. So I made mine six inches tall by five and a half inches wide. If you want to be really simple, just go six by six. It just makes it simpler when you're cutting. And what I used was two pieces of cardstock for the insides that are six by five and a half. And then two pieces of just regular uh, copy paper, six by five and a half. And we're gonna need some steam seam. And this is um, an ultra hold steam seam or it's called fusible web. So whatever you've got would work great for this. And then your insert pages. I had an old journal that I was never gonna use. So I literally just took, took it out and then cut this just a little bit small. And I'm gonna use this to put inside my journal. But you could just take other paper and fold it and then when we sew this in, you could just use that. So let's get ironing this together. So first I need to iron uh, my six pack can holder flat because it's kind of bubbled up. So I'm gonna stick it in between this towel so I don't melt my iron to the plastic. Now I'm gonna take my steam seam and put this aside. And I want a piece of steam seam around, uh, behind all four sheets to make it extra strong. So I just traced it there and there, and I know these four are the same size. And I'm just gonna cut these out. So I'm gonna take the paper off of one side of each of them. If you want to make it really fast, you could really just lay your whole sheet of cardstock and your whole sheet of paper before you cut it to size on steam seam, ironed it, and then cut it. This way I'm just not wasting my steam seam, but it's a little quicker to do it the other way. So just let it cool off for a second. And then you're just gonna peel this other sheet of paper off. Now what I did was, I centered this, here it's lined up, and read in the center where this hole is. That's where I'm gonna lay it down, just like that. So you have, I know this kind of got a little cattywampus, but it's still gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna have that there. And if I need to, I can just trim it if I'm off a little bit. And then it's gonna go like this. So be real careful in the middle. Now we're just gonna paint it. I'm gonna use some off-white paint, but you can use whatever color you want. Let this side dry, paint the other side. Now I'm gonna paint this side. And you may need to do a couple coats. Just make sure they're dry. Okay, let's get to the next stage. So I picked out some transfers I'm gonna put on, so I'm just gonna kind of play with them. And I'm gonna to try to do another little field journal like my other one. Take a look. Oh, that really is coming out really pretty. I think that's probably more than enough. So now I am gonna lightly just make sure it's burnished down like this. Just make sure all my pieces are down. And I'm gonna use my crackle stamp and then we're gonna wax it. So I'm using my crackle stamp. This is another IOD product. And just a little bit of crackle here and there. 
And I added a couple little pieces on the inside. And you can add as much as or as little as you'd like, or even um, adhere a pocket into the inside with some steam -a seam And you could even just use stamps on this and not transfers. Let this uh, ink dry just for a second and let's wax it. So I'm just gonna use the clear wax first and I really like to do that first before I apply my dark wax. And sometimes I don't even use the dark, but if I'm going to and it gets too dark, if you have the clear under, it's easier to rub it off. Especially on a dry paint surface, the dark wax is just gonna soak right in and it's really tough to get it off. Some of the paint is gonna come off of the plastic parts, but that doesn't really matter. And with the dark wax, you don't need much to go a long way. And now you can start seeing the indentations of the circles. On my first journal, I took things to go around them so it looked like I was using it as a frame. On this one, I didn't, but you could. Okay, now we are going to bind our paper in. Usually I would say make sure everything's dry and your hands are clean. Not like this, but we're just going to, I just wanna show this to you how we did this. So this is part of the journal that I had taken out of another journal, the paper from the inside. So you can see it's already bound. Now, if you didn't have a journal you wanted to use, just take, just take regular old paper, whatever paper you want, fold it in half and make sure it's the size you want. And you are gonna mark where your holes are gonna be and you could just put layers or stacks of folded paper in. So I'm just gonna mark right here. I'm using this flat needle, but you can use a really thick, thick large eye needle. And I'm just gonna make some holes right where these lines are. Let's see what it looks like right there and there. I'm using a waxed um, nylon thread that you would use like in an awl, but you can use any waxed linen thread or any cording, anything that you'd, uh, anything you'd like to use. And I'm just gonna cut a piece big enough so I have enough. And just cut a bunch off and you can just save what you don't use. I'm gonna double it, but you don't need to. You can just go single. Okay. So I'm gonna put this back inside. Now where I have the holes on the inside, I can see. So it goes through there and it's going through here. Now I'm gonna go back through the other way. You don't need to, you could actually just take this, tie it, and you're done. I just want my binding to be thicker, and I like the thread showing, so I'm just gonna go right back through again. Okay. Okay, so we made it through it, and I am working on putting kits together to make these, and you would get items to make too. So I'll just keep you updated on that, but I hope this was fun for you and you can see how you can use whatever you've got to make fun stuff. Have fun.